uh, last week we talked about the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ and our resurrection we died with him and we are raised up with him so three steps the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ and our own resurrection and the consequences of our resurrection we will talk about it today which is mortification mortification we talked about this word before mortification is to put to death what to put to death because we are died with our lord jesus christ and we are raised up with him so we put to death our members our desires our passions so we are talking about the epistle of saint paul to colossian chapter 3 uh, verse 5 saint paul said therefore put to death your members which are on the earth and they started to make a list fornication uncleanness passion evil desire and covetousness which is idolatry because of these things the wrath of god is coming upon the sons of disobedience in which you yourselves once walked when you lived in them this from verses 5 to 7 in colossians chapter 3 and in arabic it is said فَأَمِيتُوا أَعْضَاءَكُمْ الَّتِي عَلَى الْأَرْضِ الزِّنَى النجاسة الهوى الشهوة الرادية الطمع الذي هو عبادة الأوثان الأمور التي من أجلها يأتي غضب الله على أبناء المعصية الذين بينهم أنتم أيضا سلكتم قبلا حين كنتم تعيشون فيها So we are talking about the mortification to put to death to slay the members the vices the passion evil desires and as saint paul said in first corinthians chapter 9 also but i discipline my body so the message today how to discipline your body i discipline my body and let he is talking about the discipline the body and bring it into subjection and bring it into subjection to subdue the body the desires the passions so today we are talking about the destruction of the passions and the desires and this is how to live with the spirit of the resurrection and what it means to put to death our members this it means to make destruction for the thorns the poisonous weeds so it needs for us to examine ourselves and to know whatever doesn't please to god in us and to put it to death because we are being die dead with christ and as we said last week we died to the world 
and we have unity with our Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit dwells in us so to practice how to put to death your fleshly desires your passions to uproot the vices so we read and we hear a lot about asceticism and we th think that <clears throat> asceticism it belongs to the monks yes but for a certain part for a certain degree we have to practice it and what we are talking about today it is not too easy and it is not pleasant because to fight to make efforts against the vices it is not an easy task and it doesn't happen overnight it does it is like climbing a mountain it needs the patience and the effort so i will tell you about other verses saint paul talked about it as we mentioned the first corinthian chapter 9 verse 27 and now we read together galatian 5:24. Saint Paul said also, and those who are Christ's have crucified the flesh with its passions and the desires. I will read the verse again. And those who are Christ's have crucified the flesh with its passions and the desires. ولكن الذين هم للمسيح قد صلبوا الجسد مع الاهواء والشهوات so i ask myself is this true for me did i do it to crucify the flesh to crucify the passions and the desires because people are different from one another some people they listen and obey right away for their desires and the others they are fighting against them because they are united with christ and through the power of the holy spirit they overcome the desires and if I don't do it, unless you crucify the flesh, it will ruin you. If I don't do it, it will ruin us. So this is how to put the passions, the desires, the vices, the members of our body, the flesh, to put to death, to subdue every sinful habit. And it needs to be clear and truthful with myself what is my sinful habits, how to subdue it, how to crucify the passions. And as I told you, it doesn't happen overnight. It takes a time. It is not easy. It is not pleasant. It happens gradually. I will read with you now also from the epistle of St. Paul to Galatians, chapter 5, verse 16. St. Paul said, For the flesh, lost us against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh 
and these are contrary to one another so that you do not do the things that you wish in Arabic لأن الجسد يشتهي ضد الروح والروح ضد الجسد وهذان يقاوم أحدهما الآخر حتى تفعلون ما لا تريدون So we want to practice asceticism to be moderate and to be ascetic regarding your food, your nutrition, your diet. And doing effort helping others, not to get lazy, to control your eyes and your thoughts. And as I told you, it is gradually because St. Paul said also in 2nd Corinthians chapter 4, Therefore, we do not lose heart. Don't be disappointed. Don't be discouraged. Therefore, we do not lose heart. Even though our outward demand is perishing, Yet the inward demand is being renewed day by day. So now we are talking about the old man, the outward man, and the inward man. The outward man, the flesh, our members, is perishing. And the inward man is being renewed day by day. So every day is a little bit better. Every day is a little bit better. So I wanted to review it again with you. We talked about the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ and our own resurrection. We are raised up with our Lord Jesus. And the results of our resurrection with Christ is to put to death the members of our bodies, to crucify the desires, to crucify the desires. And St. Paul mentioned list of sins, list of evil, of vices. We should get rid of them. He talked about the immoral sexual relations, fornication. And there is other names for the sin, adultery. The sexual immorality. The sexual immorality. And the Bible condemned this sin. And the children of God, they be aware to be away from this sin. Because our members are the members of our Lord Jesus Christ. As St. Paul said also in Arabic, it is said, And this to fight against. We should to fight from the beginning to watch for your thoughts, for your looking, what to see. And the St. Paul also mentioned uncleanness. To watch if you say bad words or bad look or bad deeds uncleanness and also he mentioned passions and the evil desires passions and the evil desires because passions and the evil desires are the sources are the sources 
and he talked about covetousness, الطمع, covetousness. The people who are devoted to make more money, and some Paul said, this is idolatry, worshiping other gods, a foreign god. Those who are thirst for gain, for wealth, for money. Our Lord Jesus Christ said it in the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 12, verse 15. Take heed and beware of covetousness. Take heed and beware of covetousness. So, mortification. And St. Paul mentioned a list of sin, a list of sin. And if we don't listen to what St. Paul said, now he is talking about the wrath of God, the discipline, the punishment. Because with God, not all same to God. It means God is not indifferent whether a man good or bad, keeping the commandments or breaking the commandments. God is love, but also God is holy. God hates evil. God hates sin. And he is supporting us and expecting us to keep his word. Because St. Paul said in this, in these verses, the wrath of God is coming. And this is a continuous present. And this is the consequences of sin. So we need to flee. As it is said to Lot in the book of Genesis, chapter 19, flee for your life. It is urgent. Don't delay it. Don't stay in the place of evil. Don't accept to live in bad habits. So this is very important to put our doctrine, our dogma, the teaching into practice. To live the word of the Bible, to live the word of the Bible. And the next point, St. Paul reminds us of the sinful past. It is in verse 7, the sinful past. He said in verse 7, in which you yourselves once walked when you lived in them. He's talking with the Colossians, in which in these vices, in these evils, you yourselves once walked when you lived in them. So he's to, he was talking about what kind of atmosphere they lived in. It is a poisonous atmosphere. They were occupied by them. So he made a contrast between the past and the present. In the past, we did sin. But now we died with Christ, we are raised up with him, and we died to the world, and we put to death the passions. 
the evil desires because you are in Christ we want to remember this all the times and this it needs a continuous repentance and we thank God that he gives us this repentance and to change our lives from the past to the present and in conclusion St. Paul mentioned also two more verses with wider exhortation with wider encouragement and they continue to mention another list of sin he said in verse 8 and 9 but now your service are to put off all these and he made a list what to put off as he said to put to death and he mentioned fornication uncleanness covetousness uh, passion evil desires but now he adds anger do you get angry easily to put off anger to practice patience to calm down to fight against anger and wrath الغضب والسخط because sometimes anger it turns to wrath more violent and the malice malice it doesn't have the appearance of anger or wrath it is called but it is more dangerous malice hopes blasphemy blasphemy filthy language and in general to watch for the sins of the tongue to watch for the sins of the tongue so it needs more effort from every one of us how to fight against anger wrath malice blasphemy filthy language to put off filthy language out of your mouth when you open your mouth to talk with something edifying building up others something holy and the St. Paul continue saying do not lie to one another all the time to say the truth to say yes or no direct yes for yes and no for no do not lie because Satan is the father of liars don't lie to one another since you have put off the old man do you notice the contrast between the old man and the new man in second corinthians 4 the outer man and the inward man the outward man and the inward man and here is talking about the old man 
you put off the old man with his deeds. In Arabic, وَأَمَّا الْآنِ فَإِطْرَحُ عَنْكُمْ أَوْ إِخْلَعُوا أَنْتُمْ أَيْضًا الْكُلْ واللست الغضب الصخت الخبس التجديف الكلام القبيح من أفواهكم لا تجذبوا بعضكم على بعض إذ خلعتم الإنسان العتيق مع أعماله So St. Paul is focusing upon what the sacrament of baptism is doing in us and the warning against post baptismal sins and the post baptismal sins St. John Chrysostom talked about them how to watch after you are baptized to watch not to live with the old man but with the new man not with the outward man but with the inward man not to live according to first Adam but last Adam so he made a list of sins a list of vices we take it seriously and to examine ourselves and to fight against these vices and to fight against these vices this is how to live as a real Christian to live, to live with the spirit of resurrection resurrection it is not just something we do it in the rites of the church it is just a feast it is not just a feast it is not just memorizing memorizing hymns but how to live it we are celebrating now the days of the resurrection of our lord jesus christ and how to live as we are raised up with christ if we are raised up with christ to think about the things which are above not below the heavenly things more than the earthly things to put to this which we said is this mortification to mortify the members of our flesh or as St. Paul said to crucify it the passions the desires and they need a list to get rid of and to fight against and I will not take too long than this but don't forget please the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ and this it leads to our own resurrection and our own, own resurrection how to live it through the mortification of our members of the flesh our passions our desires to approve to get rid of the vices of the sins and because we are united with Christ and he gives us the power and this is how to live as a true Christian and glory be to our God forever. Amen. Please, if you have any questions,